Good Tuesday morning, my friends. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. We dodged a pretty big bullet in Michigan, I would say, uh, based on what happened in Chicago last night. Now for us, it looks like the highest wind gust, measured wind gust that I could find out of yesterday's or last evening's severe storms was 50 miles an hour. I do know we had some 60 mile an hour gusts, but 50 miles an hour, remember, is not even officially severe. 58 miles an hour or greater. Who picked 58? I have no idea. They went off of 50 knots and we don't use 50 knots. We don't use, nobody uses knots anymore. I don't think even uh, boaters use knots. Um, so uh, we anticipated that the storms would run out of gas somewhere in the southeast half of lower Michigan, but fortunately they were starting to run out of gas or not quite as severe as over in Chicago where they uh, recorded it was a bad day to be at an airport in Chicago in the evening. O'Hare, Midway, both at once had reports of tornadoes on the ground near them, and DuPage Airport had a 75 mile an hour measured gust. So let's get in on to it. Now we have cooler, drier air coming, and it's going to take a little while. So we can still have some little spurts of showers. I'll show that to you on the radar happening already right now. And you could see that uh, some showers coming across Lake Michigan heading toward the Grand Rapids and Holland and um, uh, south of Muskegon. So in the next couple of hours, the Grand Rapids area, you could have a few downpours, nothing that's really widespread. And as we go now into the modeling, we'll see what that calls for. And I still wanna show you that the satellite picture shows some of us have some beautiful sunshine right now. There are some patches of clouds, and you look out to the west in the Dakotas, and you see some thunderstorms, you think, this still looks kind of like a, a stormy pattern, a little bit, but really, things are really calming down because the energy in the atmosphere has gone way down uh, with the storms from last night. So variable clouds is going to be a pretty good call today. You can get in some strong sunshine, then it can cloud up, and you can get into some showers. Here is the radar. Our rain of overnight has moved on to the east, and you don't really see much to the west. So we go on to our model that I like best, you know, as we go out into tomorrow. What's going to happen for tomorrow is we'll be back into kind of an unstable pattern because the cooler air is moving in a loft. The moisture at the ground this time and you're very stubborn to leave. So we get that combo and we get some spotty showers, 15 minute showers scattered here or there, maybe 30 or 40 percent coverage tomorrow. So your chances, if you're betting on staying dry, your chances are pretty good. But if you absolutely need to stay dry, like ripping a roof off of a house or something like that, you better wait till Thursday on that because tomorrow is still a little bit of a showery day. So here's our radar forecast. And we'll start right there. That's now 10 in the morning. And we go through the afternoon and you see it indicates like one little thunderstorm in eastern Saginaw County. Not so sure um, that you'd actually see it right in eastern Saginaw County. But the point is in the afternoon, we can get a couple little, you know, brief thunder showers to develop. Nothing like last night. And then by the way, the lightning was just crazy with that system. So now we're through the night tonight and we tend to have drier weather in the night. And then as we go into Wednesday, you see this flare up of, of a line of showers. That's the actual main real cold front. And once that sweeps through Wednesday afternoon and evening, you're going to notice a big difference in humidity levels down to very extremely 
extremely comfortable humidity levels as we go into Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, and probably even the weekend. Hey, good morning, Ronald Johnson from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and good morning, Jacqueline Skrzynski. Did I get it right? Hopefully. I'm pretty good at Polish names because I'm my wife is Polish, so I've been exposed to the names. Uh, this is not the temperature forecast. This is the dew point temperature forecast. And you, uh, what I want to try to show you here is the drier air that will be moving in. The dew points are still around near 70, and that's muggy air. When dew points drop to about 60 to 65, it's better, and when the dew points drop into the 50s in the summer, it's a very comfortable air. So watch as we go through the afternoon. It's still muggy, and that's why thunder showers can still pop. It's not a we're done with the rain type thing, but it's very minimal too. Now, we go through the night tonight, and you start to notice the first step down on dew points. So we wake up tomorrow morning, and the dew points in southern the southern half of the, our state are 60 to 62. That's less humid, slightly sticky. Uh, dew points in the northern half of the state are in the upper 50s. Dew points in the UP are in the low 50s. So you wake up in Houghton Lake or Traverse City tomorrow, very comfortable. And as we go through the day tomorrow, again, the moisture is stubborn until we get to after sunset. This is tomorrow evening. And then overnight, tomorrow night, you see the dry air and the dew points in the 50s. Just make the plunge southward. And as we go to Thursday afternoon, you got dew points in the upper 50s in the south, comfortable, and low 50s from, say, Saginaw northward through the UP. So definitely a break in the humidity coming. And like I said, it looks like it definitely lasts for Friday, I think Saturday, and for the most part, Sunday before the next storm system next week. So we get it to dry out. Hey, good morning, Mark Ambrosi. And Pam, I'm just going to call you Pam Z if that's all right with you. Good morning to you and Michael Snyder. Thanks for watching. So now we look into the extended. So we've got these little spritzels of showers today and tomorrow possible. This is Thursday and it looks beautiful. If, if you already have the work skipper Friday worked out, try to inch into the work skipper Thursday. Why not? This work stuff and productivity, all overrated, isn't it? I'm actually doing a work skipper Thursday and helping one buddy pour some concrete. He tells me what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. He says, pull this, pull that, shift that around. I just do as told. And then at our storage facility, Interlock and Secure Storage, we have to put some pipes in the corners of a building, you know, the blocking ones so that people don't run into the building when they're backing up. Uh, so Friday looks gorgeous too. Saturday looks gorgeous. Starting to inch back on Saturday to uh, feeling like uh, about normal summer, maybe just a touch cooler than normal. Good morning, John Robert Williams. Boy, you would have been in your heyday in the lightning storms down in Kalamazoo and the southwest corner um, last night. In fact, I saw a photographer in Chicago. I guess he's a well-known photographer. He got a shot of the, the, the John Hancock building. I don't know what they call it now. Sears Tower. It's got a different name now, like Willis Tower or something. And uh, growing up in Chicago, it was always Sears Tower. And then there's the third tall building, and all of them were getting struck at the same time. So it looks like we get through the weekend all dry, not much wind, quite a bit of sunshine. And then we get to next week, next Tuesday, or Wednesday or so, and maybe start to get into uh, some rainfall activity there. Temperatures, still muggy, still warm in the southeast, still my theory on why we'll pop a brief shower or two. 
and in the north you're gonna start to cool off of uh, Traverse City you know maybe maybe 75 uh, Mackinac Island maybe 75 UP in the 70s tomorrow a little bit cooler 82 ish Ann Arbor 78 ish Grand Rapids and Saginaw 70 Traverse City Thursday mid 70s low humidity Friday 77 to 80 or so low humidity all across the state Saturday low 80s a lot of places upper 70s and some other places Sunday back to 80 to maybe 85 ish in some sections and next Monday in the low 80s next Tuesday we start to get back in the shower so this indicates cooler in the 70s and then back to the low 80s so really no extreme heat anywhere in sight so that's your M Live morning weather update brought to you by consumers energy your little recap brief shower today don't plan on it being totally dry in fact I'm looking now and uh, the showers are coming on shore around Holland uh, around Grand Haven and heading toward the Grand Rapids area they're they're spotty uh, but don't plan on totally dry then we get into some fantastic weather after tomorrow's afternoon showers Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday look like primo days for Michigan a couple of low humidity cooler days and a couple of low humidity warm days on the way hey thanks for joining me on the M Live morning weather update brought to you by consumers energy have yourselves a great Tuesday we should consider ourselves very fortunate that that storm line west of Chicago didn't do quite as much here in Michigan Stevenson uh, Rock Freeport Illinois just west of Rockford night a measured 93 mile an hour wind gust that does a lot of damage take care I'm M Live chief meteorologist Mark Torgrosa